What it do, baby? It's your girl, Robin, and today we're going to be doing lots of things, including launching my brand, Smiley Face Co., and flipping this shelf here from Goodwill, so stay tuned to see what happens. Okay, so first I am going to take this piece that we got here from Goodwill for $7 and sand it all down. My boyfriend was needing a new place to put his PC and so we found this piece at Goodwill. It was only $7 and he has a white desk already in his little area for his video games and so he wanted this to match and be white as well. So we went ahead and bought a really cheap sander from Walmart, sanded this down, got it down as best we could as best we knew how to at this point I guess and then started painting it so here you'll just see the process of me sanding it down trying spray paint realizing that wasn't the vibe we were going for we ended up going back and getting roll-on paint and it looked so much better with the roll-on paint we used a flat paint from Walmart it was about nine dollars for an entire tub we probably used about mm, one eighth of the tub so not a lot of paint at all but here you'll see me just using the roller to go all the way around and get all those details this was fun and hard I enjoyed it and I think we're gonna start flipping more pieces so yeah Okay, so next thing, I just went and did a quick cleanup around the house. So I tend to do this every morning, but because I had gotten up late this day and done other stuff to start out the day, I went ahead and did this later on. So what I do is I just wipe down all our counters, make sure that the floors in the kitchen are clean. I went ahead and wiped down the TV stand this day too. I usually do this about once or twice um, every week or so. So this just keeps it looking fresh and feeling good all the time. I love keeping my house clean. I didn't realize how much a clean house can impact your mood and productivity really overall um, having a clean house means that you know where everything is and it makes things easier to do and therefore makes you do more so now we're going on to cook dinner I was super excited about this we had chicken chili with rice and it was so 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 good it had a chili sauce on top we did carrots as you can see here and potatoes so what I did was I peeled washed and cut up these into little pieces as you can see right here they're probably about half an inch each then we went ahead and put salt pepper and olive oil on these bad boys in a bowl mix it all together put it on a baking sheet same thing with the potatoes except this time I also add garlic and herb as well as the olive oil and the salt and the pepper this just gives a little bit more flavor to my potatoes I like my potatoes to have a little bit more flavor and so that's why I use this if you don't you can stick to the salt and pepper so 450 um, in the oven does the trick like I said garlic and herb this and I wanted to show you guys these labels because I love these labels I made these labels I printed them off and put them on these little containers right here this container is perfect for me I love it as you can tell very aesthetically pleasing so went ahead and threw all that on there in the bowl then threw the carrots and the potatoes onto the same baking sheet at 450 threw those bad boys in the oven and let them cook for about 22 to 25 minutes next I'm making chili sauce so here I'm getting a tablespoon of butter and then I'm gonna put my chili sauce in and my sweet sauce that I have mix it all together with a little bit of lime juice and that's what's gonna be thrown on top of the chicken at the end Okay, so here I'm just getting the chicken out, patting it down, making it flat. It's easier to cook when it's flat because then it's even when you're cooking it. So what I do here is I just put some salt and pepper on top of that, put some oil in my pan. I also use a little bit of ranch powder on this chicken to make it a little more flavorful since we weren't going to be having any rice with it. Throw it on the stove five to six minutes on each side until it's grilled. Then take it off, throw some sauce on top of it. Scrumptious. Really enjoyed this dinner. It was yummy. Loved it. 10 out of 10 recommend.
I also launched my brand this night, so here we are just launching that and then partying for the rest of the night. So check out my Instagram and my website if you'd like to purchase some stuff. <laughs> This is a lot more than I fucking remember. Cheers. And the next morning I woke up and shipped off three of the six orders that I already had from the night before. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me. Stay tuned and let me know when you want to see my next video in the comments below. Bye!